All right, we got a fun one today. About to pack up, head to Huntsville, Alabama. And that is home to the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, which actually has an RV park. So it's only an hour and a little bit of change up the road. And we're going to go check it out. So let's go. So this is actually the longest that our RV has been in one spot since we started RV. Uh, we told you when we first got to Alabama, Victoria's work schedule is a little different here. She's working four days versus three, which hinders our travel schedule a little bit. When we were at Nakalula State Park, I thought about the fact that we could have booked the night ahead and not stayed that night and still actually saved money given that hotels tend to be a little bit more expensive than RV parks. So we're going to try that out this trip. So we booked last night thinking maybe Victoria would get off work and we would just head up the road and get there late at night for a late check-in. But instead, we're going the following morning, but we don't have to wait until 2 p.m. to check in. We're gonna get there somewhere around 11 o'clock in the morning, which gives us three additional hours that we wouldn't have had had we just had the reservation for today. This I am very excited about. I get real nerdy when it comes to space. This is true. If I was a little kid, I would have been right here behind us at space camp. <laughs> but we didn't have anything cool like that in upstate New York. Actually, we had a planetarium, but it wasn't that cool. They have a real big one here, which is apparently the biggest one in the southeast. Wow. Which makes sense because it is the U.S. space and rocket center. Many of you may not know that Huntsville, Alabama is actually home to a space center that may not r launch rockets like they do in Florida, but it's still pretty big and very important. All right, let's go check it out. How big is Uranus? <laughs> Four and a half Earth size. <laughs> this says it's a, a Lego. That can't be a Lego. Yeah, that's made of Legos. Oh, it really is. Yeah. That's so wild. You know, Snoopy is the mascot. I think you got it. Okay, fastest reaction time. Go. I don't think I'm gonna win this one either. I bet you will. That's pretty good. She had two practice tries to be fully disclosed here. Whatever. What did you have? Two point, what? Six of them? We'll never know. Uh, I'll be editing this, so I will know. You won. Victoria's over here trying to break Guinness Book of World Records. Not quite the fastest. I'm better at taking a nail. Much better. But it's not as good as me. <laughs> oh, that 
13438! Whatever. <laughs> it was a fluke. <laughs> How does it feel to be uh, shown up by your wife on something of physical activity? I'm not feeling so hot today. That's yeah. my excuse. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm more cold than anything. <laughs> <laughs> she took her jacket off for this one, folks. Uh, that's a good rhythm. You're definitely going to beat me. You got good rhythm, girl. Switch. You're getting tired. <laughs> she smoked me, y'all. Look at this. She still got 10 seconds left and she beat me. Wow. What you doing? I'm just like, they might have when they came back. Y'all, they quarantined in an Airstream. How cool is that? That's pretty cool.
You don't come to the U.S. Space and Rocket Center without, of course, getting moon pies. Mm. What else do you not come here and forget? I got a space ice cream sandwich. That's right. Neapolitan's the only flavor, however. Yeah, I kind of wanted just strawberry, but... Okay, what was your favorite part about that? That was awesome, by the way. I had so much fun. It was cool. Uh, very family-friendly. A lot of kids around. Very family-friendly. Family I can imagine that it is probably packed during the summer, especially with their space camp and everything. The place is huge. There's several things that... Yeah your general admission ticket will pay for. My favorite part was definitely the Guinness World Records room, which is apparently just a like an exhibit that's going through there right now. It may not always be there, but it was awesome. I love anything interactive and where I can be competitive and right. possibly beat my husband at something. And she definitely <laughs> beat me in like 70% of the things. That's so not true. Go ahead and leave your haha -ha funny comments below. No. <laughs> My favorite part was the planetarium, the IMAX theater with the International Space Station. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I think the other presentation that they do in there probably would have been pretty awesome because it's like they narrate, you know, parts of space and yeah, you know, so it's they, more of an exploration type thing. They control it on an iPad and they can be like, look at this part. And like you're looking up and it looks like you're looking at the sky. It's yeah, really awesome. It was pretty cool. But all in all, there's so much to look at. The Saturn V portion of the museum was incredible they have the the huge. actual rocket there yeah, yeah so it's crazy highly suggest this it, i think it's really cool because on the other side of this complex is our rv park mm -hmm. cheers to fun space food it's full to park cheers cheers mm. hmm Was that actually not bad? It's just crunchy. But then melty? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not good at explaining it, but it's like it melts in your mouth. What's that taste like? I don't know. Something though. We're making a mess out of the truck right now. I don't know what the texture is, but. It does remind me of something, like some sort of candy. Huh. Okay, well, if you know what this texture is for the space ice cream sandwich, let us know in the comments below. It's something marshmallowy. downtown Huntsville. Not very big, but here we are. Here. Yeah, and uh, we only got a couple hours to kill, so we're gonna grab some food, some drink, explore, see what we can find. Four hours in Rocket City coming to a close. Finished up with Good Company Cafe. That is our breakfast wreck here Definitely. in Huntsville. I'm full. I'm tired now. Can we go back and take a nap? Yes. <laughs> but really, we don't have time. No. We've got like 30 minutes to get back to the RV park, pack up, and get out. Mm -hmm. And then we're not even done with the day. We got some Christmas shopping to do. Yep. Headed back to Birmingham. So we decided we'd stop off with Cody, the RV, real quick and have a little photo session in front of the rocket. It's not an easy shot to get. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of things going on. Check out the thumbnail. 
Before we leave though, we thought we'd do our little uh, project car. We can't run with you. Boop. The poo is mine! Oh, sorry, I thought we were Fine. both queuing. You can do it. Okay. So the RV park that we stayed at is actually part of the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, which is cool. We paid $37 per night. Again, we booked a night before we got here just so we could get here early in the morning. Check-in is typically 1 p.m. And I guarantee you this Marriott that's right here is probably more than 100 a night including taxes and so we still save money correct yeah we got to bring our home with us right 30 amp water and sewer uh, there must be some sites because they had a jump site as well so might be sewer some sites i think you got options ours mm -hmm. was a pull through um but pretty well kept park no wi-fi but we had full service on both our phones which are at&t and our uh jetpack which is Verizon. They do have public restrooms but we did not use those. Thanks for showing us a good time Rocket City. Yeah absolutely. Very entertained by Huntsville, Alabama. Puppies are getting impatient. I can hear the whining in the <laughs> truck. So we will see y'all next Sunday. Ain't nothing more American than that.